I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals, signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. The data streamed in for less than a nanosecond, but it was enough. Inside a shielded lab, Michio Kaku's quantum AI computer began a calculation that would take a normal supercomputer 10,000 years to complete. It finished in nine minutes. The result? A terrifying confirmation of the Three-Eye Atlas event, an anomaly so statistically impossible it has a one in 300 trillion chance of happening. This isn't an academic exercise. This is a five-alarm fire for physics. And the new data suggests something is actively manipulating the fabric of our universe. The 7.5 Sigma event. The story begins not in the depths of space, but deep underground in the 17-mile ring of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. On what was supposed to be a routine calibration run on July 3rd, 2025, something impossible happened. An event, now codenamed 3Y Atlas, registered on the detectors. It was a particle collision of such extraordinary power that it shattered all expectations. But the initial data was so bizarre, so statistically absurd, that it was almost dismissed as a sensor malfunction. The thing nobody tells you about groundbreaking discoveries is that they often look like mistakes at first. This was no mistake. The event registered a 7.5 sigma spike. For anyone not versed in particle physics, that number is the stuff of nightmares. A five sigma event is considered the gold standard for a discovery. A 7.5 sigma event? The odds of that happening by random chance are less than one in 300 trillion. It was a statistical impossibility a ghost in the machine of reality itself. Leading theorists became incredibly nervous. The standard model of particle physics, our best explanation for how the universe works, simply does not allow for this kind of event. It was like finding a skyscraper in the middle of an uncharted desert. It shouldn't be there, yet it is. The initial data was a mess of contradictions. The collision occurred at a staggering 13.6 tera electron volts but it left behind a missing energy gap wider than anything the model could account for. It was as if a huge chunk of energy had just vanished. But where did it go? This is where the world's most advanced mind, Dr. Maikyo Kaku, entered the picture. You see, for years, he had been secretly working on a machine capable of thinking the unthinkable, a quantum AI computer. This machine doesn't process information in ones and zeros. It operates in the strange, ghostly realm of quantum mechanics, allowing it to analyze trillions of possibilities simultaneously. It was the only tool on Earth capable of deciphering the three-eye atlas data. So, Kaku fed the anomaly into his quantum brain. The world held its breath. The AI's first shocking revelation concerned the event's signature. Three muon tracks, particles similar to electrons were detected fleeing the collision point at impossible angles, 17, 43, and 91 degrees, and a missing energy vector pointed 36 degrees above the beam line. This wasn't a clean, predictable break. It was a chaotic, violent shattering of physical laws. The AI confirmed the most terrifying detail, a mass gap of 1.8 tera electron volts. This is a region where the standard model predicts absolute silence, a total void. Yet, 3Y Atlas had screamed from that void. Kaku's AI had just provided the first ever glimpse into a layer of physics that is active, powerful, and completely unknown. It was doing something we don't have a rule book for. The universe, it turns out, has secrets we aren't ready for. What the AI revealed next is what turned scientific concern into genuine fear. The Randall Sundrum model. With the anomaly confirmed, Mikio Kaku tasked his quantum AI with a new, terrifying directive. Explain it. The AI began simulating every fringe theory, every wild hypothesis ever proposed by physicists. The first candidate was supersymmetry. This theory suggests that every particle we know has a heavier, unseen super partner. It's an elegant idea, but the AI's calculations showed that even the most generous supersymmetric models predicted an event like 3i Atlas would occur only once in every 100 trillion collisions, still far too low to explain what happened. Supersymmetry was a dead end, but not all things are what they seem. The AI then turned to something far more exotic, the existence of extra dimensions, 
According to a concept known as the Randall Sundrum model, our three-dimensional universe might be floating like a bubble in a much higher dimensional space. The only force that can travel between these dimensions is gravity. What if the missing 1.8 tera electron volts of energy wasn't missing at all? What if it had leaked? The quantum AI ran the numbers, and a chill went down the spines of Kaku's team. The anomaly's mass gap aligned almost perfectly with the predicted mass for a theoretical particle called a Kaluza-Klein graviton, a particle that can only exist if there are extra dimensions. The terrifying implication was that gravity itself might be leaking out of our universe and into another unseen reality. We are not just observing the universe. We might be connected to something else entirely. This discovery alone would rewrite a century of physics. But the AI wasn't finished. It analyzed the data from another angle, focusing on the electromagnetic signature of the event. This led it to an even more disturbing hypothesis, the dark photon, or X3. Many people are crazy about the idea of a dark sector, a whole family of particles and forces that exist parallel to our own but do not interact with light, making them completely invisible. The AI proposed that the 1.8 TV gap wasn't an exit, but a gateway. It suggested the existence of a cousin to the ordinary photon, a particle that could open a door to this dark sector. The AI's model showed that the 3i Atlas event matched the predictions for a dark photon with a specific mass and coupling constant. This would mean that a new fundamental force of nature has been discovered, a force that shapes the universe from the shadows. The rules of physics weren't just broken, they were being rewritten by an invisible hand. The AI presented two horrifying possibilities. Either our universe is leaking, or it's connected to a dark reality we can't see. But the final piece of data tied it all together in the worst way imaginable. A decade-long blind spot. The final report from Michio Kaku's Quantum AI was less a scientific paper and more a global warning. It highlighted a critical detail that had been overlooked in the initial chaos. The triple moon pattern and its perfect alignment with the Earth-Sun axis at the exact moment of the collision. A separate analysis confirmed the AI's findings, placing the probability of this alignment being a coincidence at 0.005%. This was not a random cosmic event. The alignment was too perfect, too deliberate. The terrifying question was no longer what happened, but why? Was this a natural phenomenon we don't understand? Or was it something else? A message? A test? An effect caused by an intelligence far beyond our own? This is where the true terror sets in. The global scientific community is facing a massive readiness gap. The Large Hadron Collider is the most powerful machine of its kind ever built, but it took every ounce of its power to create the 3i Atlas event. No planned upgrade before the year 2035 will allow for a repeat test of an event with such specific energy requirements. This leaves us in a decade-long blind spot. We have detected a signal from an unknown realm of physics, a potential gateway to another dimension or a dark sector, and we have no way of studying it further for at least 10 years. We are flying blind into a new reality, and we don't even know the rules. The implications were so profound that they immediately moved from the lab to the world stage. The things nobody tells you is that governments have contingency plans for everything. At the United Nations, a subcommittee on space law dusted off a long-forgotten draft moratorium on vacuum energy weapons. The possibility of harnessing or losing control of energy flows that don't obey familiar limits has moved from a theoretical exercise to a frantic policy debate. Could a hostile power or even a reckless corporation learn to weaponize these new forces? Could someone open a gateway they can't close? The potential for creating vacuum decay, an event that could theoretically erase our universe, is no longer just science fiction. The discovery is outpacing our ability to respond. And Michio Kaku's warning now echoes in the halls of power. We have a key to a new reality, but we have no idea what's on the other side of the door. And as we stand on this precipice, we must wonder if we are truly alone in our discovery. A universe we don't recognize. So, what does this all mean for us, really? Let's bring this down to Earth for a moment. For generations, we've looked up at the stars and felt a mix of wonder and safety. We thought we had a pretty good handle on the rules. Gravity holds us down, light travels at a set speed, 
and everything is made of the same few tiny building blocks. It was a rule book that made sense. But the Three-Eye Atlas event, decoded by Michio Kaku's incredible quantum AI, doesn't just add a new page to that book. It rips the whole thing to shreds and sets it on fire. The scariest part? This wasn't a distant supernova in another galaxy. This happened right here, in a 17-mile-long machine that we built. We knocked on a door we didn't even know existed, and something on the other side definitely answered. The big question now isn't what happened, but why. That impossibly perfect alignment with the sun is the detail that keeps scientists up at night. If it wasn't a one in a trillion fluke, then we're staring at a handful of scenarios, and each one is more unsettling than the last. Was it just a natural crack in reality? A sort of cosmic energy channel that we accidentally stumbled upon? Or was it deliberate? Was the event engineered, designed by an advanced intelligence as a kind of doorbell, knowing that any species smart enough to build a machine like the LHC would eventually ring it? If so, what is the message they sent? Is it a friendly hello, a terrifying stay away, or just a cold, hard reminder that we are not the biggest kids on the block? This is where you have to forget everything you've seen in the movies. This isn't about spaceships or simple aliens. This is about the fundamental laws of reality being twisted into new shapes. The idea of extra dimensions or a secret dark world isn't just a fun theory anymore. The data says these places, these unseen realities, might be bumping up against our own. This could finally explain the universe's greatest mystery. The 95% of the cosmos we can't see. The dark matter and dark energy holding everything together. We thought it was just quiet, invisible stuffing. But what if it's an entire active universe of its own? Think of it like living in a quiet house your whole life. You know every room, every creak in the floor. Then, Kaku's AI reveals that the walls are paper thin, and there's a wild, chaotic party raging in the house next door. You just couldn't hear it until you pressed your ear to the wall with the power of a star. Something just knocked back. But here's where the theories get even wilder. Some scientists, looking at the data, are asking a truly chilling question. What if it wasn't a knock from a neighbor, but a glitch in the house itself? What if our reality is a super advanced simulation, and the Large Hadron Collider is like a gamer pushing the system's graphics card too hard? The 3 eye Atlas event wasn't a particle. It was a pixel on the screen of reality freaking out. That missing energy didn't leak into another dimension. It was just a rounding error in the cosmic computer code. This theory is terrifying because it means we aren't just living in the universe. We might be living inside a program, and we just found the first crack in the code. Another idea floating around is even more personal. If the event was engineered, maybe it wasn't aliens. What if it was our creators? Or, get this, what if it was a message from a version of humanity in the far, far future, sent back through time? A warning sign telling us to stop meddling with forces we don't understand before we break something vital. Maybe the three I Atlas event wasn't a discovery, but an intervention. What do you think lies on the other side of that 1.8 TV gateway? Is it possible that the greatest danger isn't what we will find, but that something has already found us? And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on discoveries that are reshaping our world, make sure to like this video and subscribe.